okay. Bam! Mm-hmm. Well, am I just crazy and I spend like too much money on these things? I put in many. No, okay. Oh, the offer expired in 2008. Oh my god. That is hilarious. Oh god, okay, this is gonna be a mess. Okay, update. Um, the set has actually gotten violent. Hey guys, it is. <clears throat> Hey guys, it is me George here and welcome to today's video. Today is actually quite exciting because I am going to be unboxing a super old, actually an 11 year old brand new unboxed LPS set. I actually got it two months ago, although I just never came around to unboxing it. I kind of wanted to wait to make a video of it and now finally I am and also by the way, okay, everything is falling apart, but this set is absolutely huge. I mean seriously, it hardly even fits with my set because it's so messy, but yeah. By the way, this is the display and play round and round pet down from 2006. I found this set like two months ago on eBay for around $80. And I don't know, like maybe to you guys that sounds like a lot, but like for an LPS set, like for me, like it's brand new in box. It's in pretty good condition in the box. Again, it's 11 years old and it's absolutely huge. Um, I don't know. I just think that was actually like a really good deal. Am I just crazy and I spend like too much money on these things? But either way, who cares? Because I'm finally unboxing it. I remember I actually posted it on my Instagram story when I first got it. It, although, like, I said that I wasn't going to unbox it for, like, another two months. And here I am, finally unboxing this thing. I'm actually going to switch where I'm filming. I'm actually, this is going to sound weird, but I'm actually going to go to my sister's room to film this unboxing scene. Because I literally have no space in my real room. Okay, now let's start opening this thing. Now, as you can probably tell, probably because of the audio, we have moved. And, uh, here is the actual set in all its glory. It's honestly so big, I can't even, like, display it. Um, on my filming table because it's a mess. Uh... Okay, so first let's take a look at the packaging. Obviously, it is a very old set. It's 11 years old, so the packaging isn't the same as it is now. The packaging is quite adorable, though. We have the uh, nostalgic Littlest Pet Shop logo there. Uh, gondola goes round and round. That's a feature that actually works on this set. Uh, the pet nooks connect. Uh, elevator goes up and down. Let's just take a big full look at the actual full set. It is very adorable and very huge. Creator world, it's all your own. Um, it's, it's a pretty cute set, I mean, honestly. <laughs> And finally, here is the kind of just big summary of what this set does. Like, if you guys don't know, I've been unboxing tons of old LPS sets this year. Honestly, I just really enjoy it, like, getting them brand new in the box and getting to open them. It's quite nostalgic, and I just really enjoy it. And um, I love reading, like, the summaries that Hasbro puts on these LPS boxes. They're honestly so cute. Either way, this one says, The Round and Round Pet Town is a whole world where pets can play and stay. They can enjoy a tasty treat at the cafe, get a new do at the fancy salon, or ride the gondola all day long. Best of all, this special town can grow and grow. What fun surprises will your pets discover next? I just really enjoy reading these old little summaries. They're just so adorable. Also at the bottom, we have the How Big Is Your Littlest Pet Shop slogan. Honestly, that is just nostalgia. In the bottom right corner, we also have some information about Hasbro and the Hasbro logo, and also I just realized now that this set's only actually 10 years old, so yeah, okay. At the bottom, we also have some pictures of some pet nooks that also connect to the set, which is really cute. And that's really all. There's just some information here about the uh, manufacturing of the set. Um, a sad onion, as Alice LPS likes to refer to it, and yeah. And we also have this little try me gondola thing which works and honestly when I first got this I was actually so scared about the sanitation because I wondered how many people touched this um, But I did get like a little sanitation wipe a while ago and just wiped it down because I'm a germ freak Either way we have two pets in here. Let's just start opening the set and yeah I'm gonna try that now. Wait, no, it's the other way uh, Okay Bam, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I need it need to actually twist it for a while for it to go like a full 360 degrees. Oh yeah, uh-huh, oh yeah, uh-huh, what am I doing with my life? Either way, I should, probably should have filmed this part in my own studio, but who cares, I'm filming this randomly in my sister's room. Okay, I guess we're just gonna start making the first incision of this set. I'm actually just gonna put George on top if you can even see him. Can I put him anywhere? Oh, he's Santa hat belt. Okay, anyways, George and his Santa hat are on top of the set, as you can see. Um, I guess I'm just gonna start cutting through. Okay, um, actually just peel that. Um, oh god, okay, this is gonna be a mess. 
Okay, so I've like unboxed like a few 10 year old LPS sets this year and like even like a bunch of channels and commenters and even LPS Hannah have told me how difficult these old LPS sets are to open but like seriously, this is next level hard. I'm just gonna have to try. What else am I gonna do? I mean... Uh, okay. Guys, look how, like, annoying this thing is. Is this gonna even be, like, possible to open on camera? Well, obviously it's gonna be possible, but because I don't have, like, a tripod or anything, I'm just gonna make a mess out of myself. Um, oh my god. Yeah, I'm just gonna try push it. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, guys, I think I'm just gonna put my camera to rest now and try to just, like, get this thing open. I'll update you while I've done more, I guess, incisions to this thing. And also, I need to find my Santa hat. Okay, I'm actually so happy right now because I got an LPS pamphlet and that's literally all I've ever wanted with unboxing an old LPS set, although look at what I'm gonna have to open. Please pray for me. Okay, so I was just on my uh, living room floor trying to open this thing. It's been quite a painful experience, although guys, it is coming together. Either way, the set is almost finished, so... But anyways, the set is almost finished, so I don't think I'm gonna film any, like, unboxing further than this. So I guess let's just go back to the studio and have the whole thing all put together. Okay, update. Um, the set has actually gotten violent. Um, I cut my finger, so yeah, there's real blood for you. So we are back at the studio, and this is the whole entire set. I know, it's so crazy. It honestly doesn't even fit in the whole frame right now. Um, it's such a big set, although I feel like it would be super useful. It's got some really awesome parts to it, which I'm gonna now show you in detail, but yeah. Okay, now before I properly get into the set, I just wanna first, uh, give you guys a little look on the two pets that were included in the set. So these are the two adorable pets that were included in the set. I absolutely love them so much, actually. Um, by the way, these collars were not included in the set. I just put them on now because, I don't know, but like every time I use LPS in a video, I always like to clothe them. I mean, you'll never really see LPS in my videos, like characters talking, actually like wearing no clothes. I don't know. Does that sound weird? But either way, this is actually my second husky. I'm pretty sure this is a husky. I don't actually know. But either way, this is my second husky, and honestly, both these pets are super duper adorable. I actually love them so much, and yeah. And then we got this LPS monkey, or it might actually be a chimpanzee. I'm not completely sure, um, but either way, he is honestly so adorable. I actually really like his little blue flowers at the top of his head, and he's just actually such just a cute LPS. Either way, this is the fully open set. I just put some LPS here, just relaxing, hanging out in this place, and I guess let's just take a look at some of the other features in this set. So the first kind of round and round feature that I really liked about this set is, um, well first off, this little scooter thing, let's just move it. Um, this is detachable, which I also really like. And basically what you do is you just stick it on, and this only works with the Magnet LPS, since this is again like a 10 year old set. So I'm just gonna put this Kali 58 on there. And we just use this little wheel, and he's off on his scooter. And um, he goes round and round and round and round. It's pretty cute. Now this is a cool up and down feature. Um, it's this little Elpis elevator and it just goes up. Uh, no, no, is he stuck? Oh god. And like I was saying, the set goes up and yay, he can get off and he can enter the top floor. This is the little pampered salon. Um, so we got a little brush here to brush the LPS's fur and also a little hair dryer and that's a pretty cute part of the set. Now before we go up, also on this first floor we have the LPS Cozy Cafe. Um, so that's a little cute part. Again, it's got that little uh, cafe part. Um, and it doesn't really have anything interesting, it's just got some chairs and some teacups. But that's, you know, it's enough. Now I can't remember what this was called on the box, but it was like some sort of like play active area. I mean, as you can see in the little uh, picture here, I guess that's what it's supposing. Um, but it's got like some cute little accessories for this part, and yeah. And finally, probably the biggest round and round, kind of up and down sort of uh, feature in this set is the little gondola thing. I think, I think you say, I think you call it gondola. I don't know, I might have been calling it wrong this whole video. But either way, uh, what you do is you twist it. Um, this is so weird, trying to twist this with holding the camera at the same time. Basically, you twist it up and push down, and then the little uh, carts start moving. The only thing that I don't like about this part of the set is if you have LPS hanging around here, there isn't much space um, for the gondolas to move, so the LPS do get hit in the process. See, now it won't move. Um, I had to move the actual short pair. Uh, but it's kind of annoying because the LPS get hit, and see, now, because the set is actually... 
like I was trying to say, um, the actual gondolas get stuck with the pets, so you have to actually move the pets for them to actually go. Um, are they actually gonna... Yeah, see, and now, okay, this is a mess. But like I said, um, yeah, no, the, the gondolas do get stuck to the pets, and then it stops it, which is kind of annoying. I wish there was just a little more space for them to move, but then again, I mean, with, like, the packaging and everything, it was probably a little difficult to fit it all in. Also, that little top area with the bird... Also, this little top area with the bird's eye view of the whole entire set, um, and yeah, it's pretty cute. Well guys, that's really all for this set, although something else that was included in the box was something I was really excited for, but is- oh, now you can see my messy set. Okay, so that was really all that was included in the set itself, although there's also something really exciting um, that came in the box, or at least it was pretty exciting for me, but it's this really old uh, Littlest Pet Shop pamphlet. I, now, I don't know about you guys, but I actually really enjoy looking at these old LPS pamphlets because you kind of get to see, like, what was really be cool back in stores then. And, I mean, I was, like, never, like, I didn't really know what LPS were back in 2007. I was, like, basically three years old. Although, I kind of do remember, like, the 2008-2009 pets. Um, but not really much. But it's kind of just, like, cool and nostalgic to just look back at what was so awesome. You know, something actually really creepy is one of, like, my first ever LPS memories is my sister getting, um, a LPS diary just like this, and when I opened the booklet, that was, like, the first thing that came out. Um, that's kind of creepy, but it's also, like, kind of interesting, I don't know. Um, but it has some really, like, cute sets in here. Okay, anyways, I should just quit rambling. Let's just take a look at this really adorable pamphlet. I mean, there's seriously so many LPS here, and they're all super adorable, and again, really old. Oh my gosh, I have that dachshund, but like a G2 version of it. <laughs> um, and also, what are these? These are the punkiest and grooviest pets. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, take a look at this. There's even a little discount code at the HasbroToyShop.com. Just enter this promotion code uh, at checkout, LPS. Ex oh, the offer expired in 2008! Oh my god, that is hilarious. We also have some other super nostalgic LPS sets here. Um, and heck, I even saw this, uh, garden get-together set on eBay, um, just like a couple weeks ago. I was thinking about getting it, but I wasn't so sure. Um, that's pretty cute. Uh, virtual interactive pets, what the heck? Why don't we have this now, Hasbro? I mean, seriously. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. Um, that pause off electronic diary I was talking about before. Um, LPS merch, mm, I would so wear that. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed that absolutely huge unboxing of an LPS set. It was super fun, but then again, it was also super painful. I literally, like, bled. Um, and yeah, I guess that's really all for this video. I don't think I have much other to say. I'm pretty sure I've probably talked enough. And you're probably not even watching this part of the video because it's so boring. But either way, guys, thank you for uh, tuning in to my weird videos. And yeah, bye. We'll stare at you